Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on The Slant Lens, I'm gonna show you a quick tip, something that I carry with me everywhere I go on every key ring that I own, and I absolutely love it. I have three versions here. I'm gonna talk about why these versions really make sense and kind of maybe what you should get. But anyway, this is a small, simple thing but can make all the difference in the world. This is the first one. It's on my key ring. Got a little hole there, so it goes on my key, key ring. It's called a thingama, thingama. It's a simple device to be able to tighten the plate on my cameras. I am using this thing all of the time. It's got a little wrench here so I can use it on any kind of hex head. I've got this for doing the plates on the bottom. It's got a hole to go onto my key ring. I have one of these on every single key ring that I own. But I saw several others out there and I thought, well, maybe I should talk about those. Maybe there's something interesting. I bought this one called the Rabbit Key. Rabbit Key. Didn't like it as much. I can't get the because it's not very large here on the top, I can't get it to turn. I can't tighten things or untighten things very well. It turns in my hand and it just makes it really hard to turn. So I didn't like the rabbit key as much as a thingma, thingama. Then I just saw this one recently. This is called the cool tool. Cool tool. That cool tool is really fascinating to me because it has the wrench to be able to tighten up the plate on my camera. And it's got the, uh, the hex set there. That's the most popular or most common hex set in photographic uh, terms, photographic equipment. Uh, but it is wide enough so I can push and turn and tighten with it. So it's got enough room to put the leverage on to tighten things. So even though I have the thingama on all my uh, rings, I thought the cool tool is not bad. Cool tool is a little bit heavier. Well, it's about the same, really. It takes up just about the same amount of space. Even though it's a little longer than the thingama, uh, but does a similar kind of thing. It's got that hole to be able to put it on your key ring. It might make it more streamlined on your key ring versus, you know, this is a little wider than keys. This is just kind of sits there with your keys. Like I say, I carry one of these on every one of my key rings. Um, so putting plates out, what's the one thing that I do probably more than any other thing? I put on lenses and I put on plates for tripods and things. So I'm constantly making them, putting on plates, taking them off, tighten them. I don't like it when plates are loose. You hand tighten them nine times out of ten, they're going to spin and they are never tight enough on there. You can't tighten things, you can't over tighten, but I tighten this thing really tight on that quarter 20 and I've never had one of these strip out. It just gives me a tight, tight plate. It's not going anywhere, so I can put it on my tripod and I don't have to worry about it spinning. It drives me crazy when I put a, get up to, a, if I have a student whose camera is on a tripod and I pick it up and the camera's spinning on that quarter 20 on the plate. So get one of these things, put it on your key ring, you can tighten everything, just makes it so life is a lot easier. You know, it used to be use a quarter. You know, I heard that forever or a, a dollar now, those dollar coins. But whoever has one of those in your uh, pocket, you got to remember to put one in your pocket all the time. But with this, it's always on your key ring. It's always right there and you can make use it and uh, get right to work as quickly as possible. So I think these are great. I think that's my favorite, but the cool tool is pretty good. And the rabbit key, it didn't quite like. So there's a look at a quick tip. Something I think is really useful and I use every single day. So keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. Hi, my name is Yasi. I'm a touring music photographer and here is what's in my SKV case. I've got two camera bodies. One is digital, the Canon 5D Mark IV. Over here, I've got the Canon EOS III is my film body. And I keep my lenses all over here, the 70 to 200, the 35, the 85, and the 16 to 35. I've got a whole stack of batteries over here. I've got my big flash, the 600. I've got a little backup flash just in case. Very, very, very important are my fitted earplugs. Also very important are my snacks. Don't forget your charger and your cards. That's literally it. So yeah. That's what's in my SKB case.